Welcome to the AWT Swing GUI programming course. First, let's look at what is GUI programming, graphic user interface programming. GUI, graphics, audio, video, networking, database, and other multimedia stuff are the materials that we would like to deal with. Let's look at the programming we have done in the text processing. You basically read in some data from console, and then you perform some programming, and then you print the message out. And in GUI programming, the core computation may be the same, but you need to incorporate the multimedia contents for the input and for the output as well. That's the whole purpose of performing GUI programming. And you need to make a program not only to be able to handle those multimedia contents, but also make the program portable to a certain website or some app in the mobile devices. So the deployment for desktop application, applet, web start, web server will be very important. The early hype about applet have passed and they haven't provided as many solutions as server-based programs or applications. Distributed software is probably done better with Java Web Start than applets. Almost all examples in these nodes are applications, which can be used with Web Start. It's also easy to modify most of them into applets. Actually, for applets, it got a competition from JavaScript, and because of the security issue, applet become not as important. And then for the GUI programming, we would like to focus for the desktop application, web start, web server, and several server-side programs. The technology for GUI programming in Java environment, including AWT, SWT, Swing, and JavaFX. And in our course, we focus on AWT and Swing, mainly on Swing. AWT Swing, AWT is Abstract Window Toolkit, and Swing, these two API are widely used. They have more examples and more applications. Full GUI capability, but not compatible with the newer web technology such as HTML5 and CSS3. So that's why JavaFX got invented. But JavaFX is not widely used and it is not big world compatible completely, so it's not so popular. But somehow JavaFX still can include the module from Swing. So Swing is still very important since the program can be portable to JavaFX environment. And the support from Oracle for Swing and AWT have been discontinued. But they are still very robust in many application fields. GUI terminology. To have GUI as an IO unit for a program, we need to have a window, and window is the first class citizen of the graphic desktop, or we call it top level container. That include frame, applet, and dialogs. Component is the building blocks, or sometimes we call it widget for the GUI environment that resides in the window. Sometimes it's control, sometimes it's an input box, like text box, or sometimes it's an output message panel. A container is a component that hosts or holds components, such as frame, applet, panel, and box, especially for panels. Panel are considered as a component, but frame and applet usually is not called component. They are considered as window. And here is one example. It is one frame to convert Celsius temperature to Fahrenheit. And we have text field, J text field, button, J button class. And then we have the J label. And this is one frame and with title and icon. So the topic we are covering in AWT and Swing, including the structural information for a GUI program and also for the components information and also for behavioral models. And for structural building blocks, we have top-level container 
frame, windows, dialog, and apric. And sub containers, we have J panel, options pane, scroll pane, split pane, and we also have the layouts. Layout are not components, and layout just a guideline for how to put stuff into the frame or windows. And these two are for the structural description for a GUI program. For the components, we have two kinds of components. One is the button-like or building block-like, such as label, button, text field. These components are the building blocks for a GUI program, but usually it is of certain fixed shape. And graphics is a component that you can draw your own drawing on it. And it can also work as a component, as part of the GUI program. So basically, you have fixed building block and also custom design building block using graphics. And with these different containers and components, we also need to add the listener, that is the behavioral modeling, the action listener, and also the action handler into the GUI program. So listener and event handler method are the behavioral description for the GUI program. The structural behavioral modeling is similar to HTML, CSS, and the JavaScript in the web technology. So GUI program is a graphic program that serves for the desktop, app, and different applications. Here is one diagram for the structural organization. You have top level frame, and then you have root plane, and you have content plane, and you have layered plane. On the top, you have a hidden glass plane. And these are the different layers for the containers in the GUI program environment. And usually what you see is the frame and also the content plane and content pane, including the menu bar and the component area. Action listener interface. An action listener object is one that implements the action listener interface, and it's a single method, action performed. The action performed method requires an action event parameter, such a parameter is supplied by user action, such as mouse click. So action listener, Interface is used to model the behavior of the GUI, such as the mouse click and how the mouse click can be handled by action listeners' action perform method. Now let's look at the demo programs, including the frame one, two, three, and the sparring score. And in the frame three, we start to give you a very brief idea of what is the event source for press certain button, and you then you use a mnemonic to handle the hot key and also the mouse click to use the event handler to perform the action performed. Let's look at the programs. In this chapter, we have this frame 1, frame 2, frame 3, and the spelling score. Let's look at the first frame. This program is very simple. Basically, the frame one is then JFrame. JFrame is a top level container for the GUI program. And then you have a main method, and the main method just knew this frame one. So it create a object for frame one class. And then frame one constructor basically do the following thing. It put a title my simple frame into the JFrame constructor, and then set the boundary to be 100, 100, 300, 100, and 100, 100 is the starting location for the frame. And then 300, 100 is the size for the frame. And for the program exit condition, it will close the program after the frame being clicked for closure. And in this frame, we put a content pane into it, that's it. And then set the program to be visible. So basically, in the constructor, we set a boundary and set a rule for exit condition. And we also assign the pane into the program, and we also display it. That's it. Let's run it. So this is simple frame show up. It with the list title, and 100, 100 for the display location, and the size 300, 100. Let's try the frame two. In frame two, 
we add one more button called press me. So on this press me, we had the mnemonic P, that's the alt P, hard key. And we just add that button into the pen. And request for focus, waiting for the hard key to be pressed, or the mouse being clicked. And then also set this frame to be visible. That's wrong. Now you can press press me, but there's no action. Let's try the frame 3. In frame 3, on the button, we add a listener interface. A listener actually will have this handler method called action performed. The listener is waiting there. When the program finishes running over here, that window will be standing by and waiting for your hard key or your mouse click. Once the mouse being clicked, it will jump to this event handler, receive the certain event, and we get source. If the source is the press me button, then we will perform the following scenes. Print out the button pressed, and also display the message. I hear you in a different dialogue. That's wrong. So right here, it show up. Let's try the mnemonic first. Let's click Alt P. So it show up. Let's close it. Now this time, let's click on the button. Same thing, it show up. So both of the events, the mnemonic P and also the mouse click, both the event source is from this press me button. And then once it got clicked or being pressed, all the P being pressed, then it will show up this button released and also show up the I hear you dialog ram. Now let's look at another bigger program called Sparring Score. Sparring Score is a scorekeeper for the martial art when they have a sparring. So both sides, we have Hong and Chang. It's for Taekwondo. And basically, you can click the blue score to increase the score, or you click the red score. And you can reset it. So we have three button, two score display, and two title for the players. And in our GUI, basically, we have a sparring score program that is implement the action listener interface. So this sparring score program will be listening to the events. And in this sparring score, we have a title panel, it's right here for Hong and Chang. We have score pen, it's right here for the score. We have a button plan for the two buttons, for the three buttons. And we have a label, red label, blue label, red score and blue score, and the three buttons over here. And in the main program, we just run this create and show GUI. Basically, we create a frame with such a title. And then we set up those exit condition rule and the size of the frame and set visible. In the constructor for this sparring score, the constructor basically is a default no argument constructor and it will just create these different buttons. And then that object would perform the create center pane program and then add that pane into the frame. And the center pane method will add in all of the components for the title pane, for the labels, and the buttons. And for each button, it would have the listener. And once the button's been clicked, it will check the event source, whether it's from red score button or from the blue button or from the reset button, and then perform the related operations. This is one example I would like to show you for the GUI, and it is way too complicated for the time being. And we will go into the detailed explanation about the buttons and the title pane and the score pane, something like that, and help you to build up the GUI step by step. So don't worry about it right now. Just download this different program and run it and get some sense of what is GUI. And later we will explain it in more detail. Thank you.